Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot card reading focused on the 17th to the 23rd of April 2021. If you are new to my channel, welcome. So this tarot card reading is going to be focused on your love life. I'm going to be looking at your current position in love. Where are you coming from? Where are you heading? What is challenging you and how to overcome it? Right. So I'm going to pull three cards, focus on the past, present, and the future for the 17th to the 23rd of April, 2021. So the very first card that I have, which seems to follow all of the zodiac signs around, is Vast Vistas. Then we have Solitude and Traveling Lightly. So very interesting cards have come out for you. It feels as if, you know, your mind is expanding. You are thinking about life beyond your current comfort zone. You're thinking about the possibilities of what lies ahead as well as, you know, what is outside of you. So I feel like this is an exciting energy. It does present the notion of potential. We also have the card called Solitude. It feels as if you are going to be perhaps um, keeping to yourself. You could be silently contemplating a few things, you know, trying to figure out a few things. And then we have Traveling Lightly, which indicates that, you know, in many ways, you are going to be, you know, uh, not carrying a lot of baggage with you. It feels like that sort of energy. So let's see. What is Virgo's current position in love? Where are you coming from? Where are you heading? What is challenging you? And how to overcome it? In the extended reading, I'm going to be looking at the energy of your person. Okay, so your current position, Virgo, I'm seeing your heartbreak, I'm seeing sorrow, I'm seeing a sense of sadness and emptiness regarding something that didn't work out the way you'd wanted it to. It feels as if you're feeling, you know, a sense of sadness, right? Now, this could be pertaining to the future of your connection. I feel like you're feeling very wounded in your current position. You're feeling hurt. You're feeling like you really don't know how to um, move forward. Right. I feel like some of you are carrying that pain and sadness. So where are you coming from? There was something or someone that made you feel very happy. We have uh, two cards here which are indicating celebrations, indulgence, having a sense of joy, having a sense of knowing where you fit in. So there's a relationship that you shared with an individual that made you feel over the moon on one hand. But there's also this dynamic of, um, you know, feeling neglected, feeling as if you're on the side. Some of you could have been in a third party situation, not for all of you. You could have been struggling to get the person that you wanted to be on your side or struggling to get the person that you wanted to, um, you know, be with you or to stand with you. It feels like that. It feels as if there was a challenge, there was a competition, there was a difficulty. And some of you are feeling as if you've lost the battle because of, um, you know, how the circumstances played it out. So I feel like you're going to feel from the 17th to the 23rd of April 2021 um, you know, very connected to this person from the past and um, you're going to feel a sense of sadness there as if you've lost someone or something, right? So where are you heading? I feel like Spirit is telling you that you have two choices here. You can either obsess over this situation and experience a sense of grief and worry or you can, um, you know, take care of yourself. You can self-nurture, you can... Um, do things that make you feel good about yourself, right? I feel like you've been neglecting your energy for a very long time and you haven't been thinking about your own needs. 
So Spirit is saying that you are either heading in one of two directions, one where you are having sleepless nights, worried, feeling a sense of grief, or the other where you are celebrating uh, your inner and outer wisdom, your beauty that you have on the inside and the outside. So you do have a choice here. I feel like this experience has defined you to the extent where you feel like your definition of yourself is attached to this person's perception of you, and that couldn't be further from the truth. I just feel like you're too much in your head. And, uh, you know, when you are going through a difficult set of circumstances, it's hard to see above and beyond it. But we do have vast vistas, expand your horizons. You're being told to lessen the baggage, you know, uh, release uh, certain things that are emotionally weighing you down, things that you are obsessing over. It feels like some of you are going to have sleepless nights when it comes to this person, the uncertainty of not knowing whether or not the two of you are going to come together. It's getting very heavy in terms of these energy. I'm definitely picking that up. And I feel like a lot of you don't uh, really want to be in this position or place right now where you're suffering, you're feeling a sense of sadness, right? Now, the next set of cards are focused on what is challenging you, your intuition, the past. It feels like your intuition is um, requiring some revitalization. It feels as if your intuition is very closely connected to the past and you, if you wanted to move forward, you may have to um, disconnect from those bad emotions, bad feelings, those sense of uh, failures that have come and gone as a result of a certain experience. I'm picking up um, a slight blockage here. But the moment you decide to trust in your spirituality, the moment you start to simplify your life, you're going to feel like that tension and that sense of, um, you know, attachment that you've been feeling to a bundle of emotions or a situation in particular clear up. And that's what you need to do during uh, that period of time from the 17th to the 23rd. You need to uh, release the load. It feels like that. So how do you overcome it? We have your energy here, Virgo. Resist the urge to, um, you know, do things that you've been doing in the past. It feels as if you have to break old habits. I feel like spirit is noticing that you are overly focused on the situation to the point where you're neglecting yourself and you need to start taking care of yourself. It's not really a healthy dynamic for you. So if you find yourself over-contemplating or thinking about this person too much, you may need to spend some time by yourself in silence. You may need to go for a walk in the park without your emotional baggages. What you can do is imagine that uh, your emotional baggages, you know, you put them into an actual bag and uh, you set it free and you feel this uh, release. You feel this feeling of um, not being overwhelmed. might be helpful to some of you to do, right? Because it's not really uh, wise to carry that sort of stress on your back, to carry that sort of, you know, worry, that anxiety, those type of energies. Let's get a card from the Rumi Oracle deck. If you're interested in purchasing the Rumi Oracle deck, you can find the link in the description box below. In the extended, I'm going to be looking at the energy of the person that you're dealing with. Truth lifts the heart like water refreshes thirst, right? I did get the impression here that you're going to have to, you know, face the truth as well as refresh yourself. This is all about refreshing your mind, heart and soul. This is all about being able to speak out but without an emotional burden on your back. It feels like that you're having to release this um, tension that you're carrying inside of you. There's, there's too much heaviness in your energy right now and um, that is creating a blockade for you and spirit is telling you um, you have to change the way that you are doing things when it comes to this person that's why you know you might not be noticing um, things that are you know potentially there to improve you know there's opportunities for improvement but because your emotional self is like so clenched up so um Tightly, it feels like that, that you're not allowing the release. And I feel like that's very important. 
emotional bottled up emotions that's what i'm picking up from your energy from the 17th to the 23rd definitely consider looking up how you can release your emotions what do you need to actually do to um, move forward and start taking steps going forward right only then you'll be able to see uh, some sort of uh, results that you've been looking for i hope you guys have enjoyed your reading you can find the link for the extended in the description box below have a wonderful day and take care